Hospitals have to look for value in everything we do now, whether it's our labor, whether it's supply expense, or whether it's capital equipment. If you're selling equipment to a hospital, those manufacturers that are able to demonstrate their equipment will last longer, will cost less over time, will be more reliable, those manufacturers are bringing a value proposition to us that more and more, increasingly, we're going to have to look to. What happens is after these disinfectants uh, react with the materials, now the impact strength of that plastic is like 10% of what it was when it was new. So, you know, normal handling will break the thing. So when all this equipment starts breaking from the disinfectant damage, it's taking us away from our real job, which is, you know, to help care for patients, perform preventive maintenance, you know, discover new things, curing cancer, all that stuff has to take a back seat to fixing these mundane infusion pumps that we have to have to care for our patients. Well, there's all kinds of hidden costs in a hospital. If our average length of stay in a hospital increases by one day, that could be a $2 million cost just for that day. So it's important, not just because we want equipment to work well when we want it to work well, but because if it doesn't work properly when we need it to, that delays the care for a patient, or if it's not properly disinfected, it can literally cause a patient harm. So we don't take any chances. Being able to see around the corner and realize making the equipment properly so it can be disinfected and therefore be safer for patients, any company that chooses to go down that path is a good partner for hospitals, and those are the companies we want to do business with. Some manufacturers are getting it and they understand that there's a problem and they're actively testing their products with various cleaning products. One of the challenges that we faced was improving the longevity of the products in contact with these disinfectants. We've incorporated the Eastman plastics into our patient monitoring line. This is going to make MindRain patient monitoring products the leader when it comes to compatibility with the products most widely used in the hospitals for the purposes of disinfection. The Eastman polymer satisfied not only the chemical resistance, but all the other durability and other functionality we needed. We do find the MindRain monitors more durable in the outpatient setting. They tend to get moved around a lot in these kind of settings. We always suggest mind ray monitors because that's what we found to be the most accurate, the most dependable, and the most durable.